Hi guys, Mac here again. Hope you're keeping well. Very quick one for you today. I've had to pick up a chunk of storage for a piece of work that I'm doing at the moment. So I've picked up one of these Lacey or Lackey, I'm not quite sure how you'd say that, I assume it's Lacey, 10 terabyte USB-C drives. So I thought it'd be interesting just to take it out, have a look and see what it performs like. Somebody may find that useful. So let's get it opened up. There you go. Looks quite cool. Now I've got a couple of the Thunderbolt versions of these, but uh, they're a little bit more expensive. The Thunderbolt 6 terabyte one I think was about £400 when I bought it, whereas this one was about £300 for the USB-C. So it comes with all the power plugs and all that sort of stuff. It's also got a, a USB-C to USB-C cable in there, and also a USB-A to USB-C. So let's get it plugged in and we can have a look at the performance of it as well. So I have the unit plugged into one of my Mac Minis. You can see it here. Out of the box it comes as formatted as XFAT and you can see that it's 10 terabytes in size. Now one of the things I do like about these units is for a spinning hard drive they tend to be quite quick. So let's go and have a look at the performance of this one straight out of the box. There we go, that's the drive. So as you can see, we're getting about 240 to 250 megabytes per second read and about 230 to 240 megabytes per second write speed. Now, for a spinning drive, I think that performance is pretty awesome. And that's one of the reasons I buy these units. Now, this other one here, the A-Store unit, that is actually one of the Thunderbolt 3 versions of this unit. Now, that drive is actually starting to whine a little bit, which is worrying me a little bit. So this this new version is actually to replace that. So let's have a look at the performance of the Thunderbolt 3 version. Now bear in mind this is the Thunderbolt 3 version but it is quite a bit older. I think that drive is probably the best part of two years old. Also this drive is encrypted as well using the Mac OS encryption. So as you can see on this one I typically get around 120 megabytes per second on the write and about 150 to 170 megabytes per second on the read. Now just to be clear it does tend to be about 10% quicker than that if it's not encrypted. But even so it's been a really good drive, it's lasted me really well and the performance has been pretty good. But as you can see the performance of the new USB-C one far exceeds this so I, I'm quite happy with these, these units and I think they're well worth the money. If anyone has any better suggestions for the same sort of performance and reliability I'm all ears. Stick your comments down below.